Hi, my name is Austin Leach, and I'm an integration specialist here at Company Cam. And today I wanted to show you guys how to link up your Company Cam account to your Job Nimbus CRM. Um, the goal with this integration is so that every time you create a job or a contact in Job Nimbus, it's going to automatically create one of these projects for you in your project feed in Company Cam. And then when I go in and actually take photos for that project, it's going to automatically sync those over to Job Nimbus, um, as well as any documents that I sync as well. If I go ahead and scan in a document when this integration set up, that's going to automatically pull over to Job Nimbus for you. So it should really make your workflow uh, when documenting your um, you know, field sites and stuff like that out in the field a lot easier. Uh, and so what we're going to do to get started is we're just going to go ahead and start in our Job Nimbus account. And so from here, um, I got my home screen pulled up. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my profile on the top right here, and then I'm going to search for my settings tab. And so once I get my settings tab pulled up here, all the way at the bottom, we're going to see this API uh, tab here. So we'll just go ahead and select that. And what we're doing here is all we're doing is we're just grabbing one of these API keys that we're going to put in our company cam account. So that way our company cam account knows which job Nibus account we're trying to link up. So from here, go ahead and click on new API key. And then down here, we're just going to select company cam because that's what we're trying to link up there. And then for profile, keep in mind, you will need um, admin permissions in both company cam as well as job Nimbus in order to link these two up. And so I'm going to go ahead and select admin there. Once that's created, you'll see a lot less different copies of tokens than I do because I'm just on a test account here. Um, but at the bottom of your account, just like I have here, you'll see a, a fresh token that we can copy. And all we're going to do here is we're going to copy this code. And then we're going to go into our company cam account here. And so you can see this is what your project feed, kind of your home screen looks like on company cam. Down here under resources, we're just going to select integrations. And then we're just going to find this job Nimbus card that we're going to put this API key in. So here, got my job Nimbus uh, card here. Go ahead and paste that in. And then all you need to do is just go ahead and make sure that admin email matches. That's going to be important there or else it's not going to work properly. So we're going to go ahead, put in Tiff's email. And then here you can decide if you want it to be set up under contacts or jobs. So again, anytime a contact is created or anytime a job is created in Job Nimbus, that's what's going to create that project for you. And so from here, I'm just going to go ahead and click connect because I want to keep it at the job level. So connect that there. And then it'll say integrations connected. And this is an important step here. So we're not actually done yet. So although company cam knows what job Nimbus account we're tied to, our job Nimbus does not know what company cam account we're tied to. And so we basically just have to do what we just did um, for job Nimbus, but the other way around. We're going to need a company cam access token that we can put into job Nimbus. And so you can see here, I went to my profile. And as long as you have those admin permissions, you'll see an option for access tokens. Same type of deal. We're going to go ahead and create a new access token. We're trying to link up our job Nimbus. Go ahead and do that. Create that token. Has it ever been used? Nope. Is it read only? Nope. That's good. Copy that token. And then now that we've generated that, you'll actually see a company cam tab instead of an API tab. So we're just going to go in here you'll have a blank spot just like I have here. And then all we're going to do is just go ahead and copy that code in from company cam. Just make sure those match up quick. It looks good to me. Make sure it's set up under jobs like we had set up in company cam under jobs and save that. Company cam settings updated successfully. And so now that we have both of those tokens added, things should be good to go here. A great way to test this is by actually creating a new job in our job Nimbus account and seeing if that pulls over a project in company cam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to jobs, I'm going to add a job, job name. Um, we'll just go job Nimbus test 12, six. And company cams address. All this looks good. Cool. Save that. And then now that our job is created, we should see this pop over as a project in company cam. There we go. Cool.
Now that we have our integration with Job Nimbus set up, the best thing for us to do now is to go ahead and test it. And so since I previously had this set up under jobs, I'm going to go ahead and just create a new job in Job Nimbus. So that way we can make sure that it creates a project for us in Company Cam. And then after that, we're just going to go ahead and snap some photos in that project. So then we can make sure that those um, photos are syncing back over under our photo section here in Job Nimbus. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to create a new job. So I'm going to go to jobs here, add a job. And then we're going to go ahead and just put in an address. Just trying to give it as much information so that that company cam project looks good. Um, get the postcode in here. And then just go ahead and save that. And then we should see once this job actually gets created, in just a few moments, it's going to create a project for us in company cam. So we can see the name here. It should match up with this name that we've added, as well as this address that we've added in here. So when I go to our project feed and I update that, we can see, boom, right here, we got that project created already. And then now all we're going to do is just go ahead and add a photo in just to make sure that that's showing up inside of Job Nimbus for us. Um, keep in mind, you will need um, those admin permissions that I spoke about earlier to get this connected. And you would need a pro or a premium account in order to access the integrations as well. Those are just a, a, a few quick notes there. Um, and so once that photo has been added, we're just going to go into our Job Nimbus account and look under our photos and see if that popped in for us. And you can see... Um, basically, automatically, as soon as we add any photos now in that project, it's going to sync over to Job and Demis. Um, and so I will just leave you guys with like a few finishing thoughts. Um, make sure that um, if you're creating a project in Company Cam first, that's not going to sync over to Job Nimbus. Um, you're always going to start in Job Nimbus, take those photos in that project that gets created from Company Cam, and then those photos are going to sync back over into Job Nimbus for you. Um, it will also do documents for you as well. So. That was us um, kind of going through the Job Nimbus integration as well as testing it out a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Um, we're happy to, to help out. Our support is support at companycam.com. We also have a live chat that you can reach out to directly. Um, we're really great at answering questions quickly and helping you guys, you know, keep working and, and staying efficient. So, um, again, reach out with any questions. I appreciate you taking the time to learn a little bit more about the Job Nimbus integration. Thank you.